I'm finally back! After a week of my computer deciding to completely die on me and I had to replace my hard drive and pay a lot of money after a week of no computer, I'm finally back and all of my stuff recently got completely canceled and wiped out, but it's okay because God is still good and he found a way to pay for all of the repairs that I had to do on my computer and actually backed it up in July, July, whoa, backed it up in January so I didn't lose a lot of the files that I thought I did. But the only sad thing is I did lose a lot of the stuff that I was hoping to make as videos soon so yeah. A lot of that is lost, but it's okay. And then because all that happened this past weekend that I was at drill, it was so chaotic. And I was just so heartbroken over my computer that I really didn't get to record hardly anything um, this past weekend at drill. But anyways, so in this little episode that we have, now that my computer is working, we have one of my dear friends, Dan. He is also a chaplain candidate, and he is a priest, and he's working on being a priest at, and right now he's in seminary. Um, there is a lot about what he does that I don't really fully understand, so a lot of our conversation is back and forth texting like, what does that mean? Wait, what is that? What do you believe with what? So hopefully y'all will be able to see a lot of my friends, candidate, chaplain candidate, some of my chaplain friends, um, pop up on the channel to where if you are interested in any of any of that or want to learn more um, It's a variety of different candidates or chaplains and um, So again, I was hoping this past week to get weekend to get some chaplains on here But everything just went crazy. So next time I'm at drill we'll see some chaplains, but um, so hopefully y'all will see that soon. I am pressuring my ch my candidate friends to make videos just kind of about how they knew that God had called them to do this and all of them have different uh, different beliefs that most of them have different beliefs than I do. They're all a part of different endorsements than I am. So I think that'd be really cool t for them to kind of share how they knew that God had called them to their specific endorsement, their specific belief system, and called them into the military. So here is chaplain candidate in the Air Force, um, Dan Duplantis. So I call him Lieutenant Duplantis when we are in uniform, but outside of that I call him Dan. Hi, I'm Second Lieutenant Daniel Duplantis. I am a Catholic chaplain candidate for the United States Air Force. My endorsing agency is the Archdiocese of the Military Services USA. Uh, there's really three ways that you can be endorsed by the Archdiocese for the Military Services. Um, one of the easiest ways is if you're already an ordained priest, is you can become a direct commission chaplain. Direct commission chaplains do not have to go through the chaplain candidate program. They're simply, they go through the accessions process and then they're commissioned straight into the chaplain corps. Uh, there's really two routes for chaplain candidates or uh, seminarians to go through the candidate process to get to uh, the chaplain corps, and that is through just going through the candidate program itself. Uh, you'd still be endorsed by the military archdiocese, but you wouldn't be co-sponsored. Um, so that's the really simple candidate program. There's really no attachment. There's no contract for your diocese. Uh, you simply use it as a discernment tool. Um, the, uh, the other option, probably the more complicated option, uh, is the one that I'm doing, which is the seminarian co-sponsored program by the military archdiocese. In essence, the co-sponsorship program is a three-party agreement between the military archdiocese, your own diocese, and yourself. Um, and this contract basically says that if you are ordained a priest uh, and you complete the chaplain candidate program, you're promising five years of active duty service. Um, and your bishop can also allow you to go further if you wish to do so after those five years. Um, you would do these five years after your first three years ordained as a priest, and you would serve those first three years in your own diocese. So your diocese gets you first. Uh, they get the first three years of you to actually minister to your own people, because we are first and foremost diocesan priests. Um, basically what the military archdiocese will let you do um, is celebrate the sacraments like normal. So celebrating mass, uh, especially confession in the field, um, baptisms, uh, basically any kind of sacramental ministry you get to be a part of as a military chaplain. Uh, you also do a lot of counseling as a priest. Um, 
you will be called to minister to people of other faiths, other religions entirely, uh, other Christian denominations, um, but you will not be forced to do anything that is not within our own creed. Um, a lot of what we'll be doing is counseling or at least providing for the needs of other religions and other faith groups. So a bit about how I felt called to, um, to be a military chaplain is very much intertwined with my own vocation story to enter the seminary. Um, I wanted to be a priest from a very young age, probably about somewhere between four and seven years old. Um, I would play mass as a kid. I was one of those, uh, those boys who would play mass. Mom would make little circles of bread and I would pretend to hand out communion. Um, and uh, I also had a, uh, a great desire to serve in the military from a very young age. Um, my uncle served in the United States Army for 20 years and retired. And um, when I first entered the seminary, um, one of the things he told me was, Dan, I think you really ought to be a chaplain. You really ought to look into it as an option for your priesthood. Um, and that had been on my mind a lot because as I was going through high school, I was an Army JROTC cadet. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that environment. I did very well with that. And, um, and the fact that I felt the calling for priesthood very strongly in high school, both of those routes kind of pointed me in the direction of becoming a chaplain. Um, so I entered the seminary. I am sponsored by the Diocese of Home at Thibodeau in Louisiana. And when I entered the seminary, I met with my bishop and said, um, I think the Lord might be calling me to be a chaplain. Um, and so I took the three different chaplain corps branches um, and kind of prayed with each one of them. Um, and the last one I ended up praying with was the Air Force. And when I took that with, um, with me to my meeting with the bishop, um, and he had asked me, well, what branch are you looking at? I said, the Air Force. And uh, he, he said, it's funny you say that, because when I was studying theology in Europe, I did my pastoral assignments under an Air Force chaplain. And although I never felt called to be a chaplain, I kind of always felt like I owed them one if I ever became a bishop. So here you are, and um, I'll send you. Um, so it's been a beautiful discernment. Uh, but basically the way that my bishop says is, um, I am his gift to, uh, to the military, to be, be able to serve the people from the Diocese of Home at Thibodeau um, and people from around the country in the military. Um, that is still his responsibility to provide a shepherd for, um, for our men and women in uniform. Um, so I'm very blessed to be able to do this. And um, the co-sponsorship has been great. So if you're a Catholic seminarian who may be thinking about becoming a chaplain, um, I would highly look into the co-sponsorship program because you get to meet other seminarians from around the country um, and we get to gather once a year for Labor Day weekend in Washington, D.C. Um, the opportunities to meet with these guys are fantastic. Um, the retreat opportunities are very good. And then also the chaplain candidate program itself is a great discernment tool that you actually get to kind of intern as a candidate before you would actually become a chaplain. Um, so it's a great, uh, great source for discernment and to take into spiritual direction and to see, is God really calling me to be a chaplain? Uh, so know that I will be praying for you if you feel that this is what's on your heart. Um, as always, with anything the Lord asks you to do, say yes, be generous. Um, don't be afraid to go out and accept this challenge and accept this call. Because as of now, it's been a great discernment. It's created a lot of great memories I'll never forget. And I've met some fantastic people. So God be with you. God bless. So thanks again for coming by my channel. And now that my computer is working, I can start to upload more videos that I'm excited. But don't worry, I was all week long, like, cause I'm bad at writing. So all week long, I had my notepad on the little voice thing where it can record your voice. And I was like, man, I should, I should do this, or I should do that, or I should get this person and that person to be on here. So definitely ideas were going this past week, even though my computer was dead and died. But I have it back, and here we go. We're going to start all this, and we're going to hit the ground running. But thanks for coming back to the channel. Please subscribe. Also, um, again, if you have questions or anything like that, I'm not a recruiter, but I could point you to one, or maybe I can answer some questions um, just about anything. Just uh, If you even have questions about how I knew that God had called me to this and what my journey is like with God during this process, it has definitely impacted every aspect of my life. Um, even on the minute by minute episode. So um, if things are coming back again, subscribe to any of these buttons that are around. Um, if you want to see some updates about just my personal life or um, just any kind of candidate uh, guests that we have coming on here, 
Um, if you want to learn anything um, or have any questions about even going to COT or going to OTS, just ask me. I love answering your questions. So I've already been getting a lot of questions and they're fantastic and I love them. So thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm so looking forward to actually having my computer working and us being able to see each other more often. So if y'all could again be praying for me and I'll be praying for y'all, um, that would be fantastic. And then we will all work at this together in the body of Christ and try to figure out this world that we're living in together. So have a good night.